Ready? One, two, three. Happy, Happy Memorial, Memorial Day! Day. Okay, it is time to do a weekend update, and we got an exciting one for you, I think. It's about as exciting as they get. Cammy, let's go talk outside. Yeah. This weekend, um, it started off actually really crazy. Friday night? I ended up at a concert. We were sitting in the first row. He's known for this song. That's just the way it is. That he never played. Some of my relatives were in town. My uncle and my cousin. Hi mom. From Washington. <laughs> this is where it's gonna get a little crazy. I love coffee. <laughs> But ever since Thursday, I haven't been able to drink it. In fact, the smell of it makes me a little sick. And in the past, that's only happened when I'm pregnant. So this isn't an official anything. No, we haven't taken, I don't know if you call it scientific, but scientific test. The test. Do you remember Thursday when Cammie said... I woke up kind of feeling nauseous, I think because it's been um, so humid. I don't think it was the heat. It's okay, you can say it. It's a little crazy. <laughs> 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 and yes, we know how that happens. Laugh! We are heading to the Memorial Day Parade. Cammie's not feeling good, so she's staying home. This parade is exactly three blocks from our house. That's Day Day. Dana. Did you hear about Day Day? She's pregnant. She's pregnant. Who's that? The thing that I love about parades is when they shut the street down. This is a road that always has a ton of gross cars and dump trucks on it. And every time we try and run and cross the street, even on a crosswalk, they like honk at us and they don't let us pass.
Evidently the parade's still going on, but we're done. We're heading home. Look at all these people, they're like stuck here. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. How did this happen? <laughs> this is one of those weekends where I wish we had the video camera filming on the weekend because this is when it really hit us. We might actually be pregnant. I think I was in partial denial trying to think of other reasons why I might be feeling this way and I felt some overwhelming feelings and I was like oh my goodness Rainier would be not even a year and I also felt like excited and like oh wow my body can do this um, we've had two times in our marriage where we weren't able to get pregnant for several years. We we were not expecting this at all. And I know people are going to be like, oh, don't you know what causes babies? Yes, we know what causes. But we've never got pregnant this soon. And there was no signs. Cammie hadn't started. Yeah. Rainier is not even four months old. So we didn't even know this was like Context. possible for her. <laughs> Everyone we've talked to so far has been nothing but excited for us, which I'm kind of just like lapping up right now because I know there's going to be a lot of other things said. I think there's probably some people that misunderstand us where you think we're one of those people that just like want a huge family and that's our mission. No birth control, we're gonna have a ton of kids, you should have a ton of kids. That's not how it is. We were really happy with three kids. We are really happy with four kids. Heck, when we had five, we had dialed in. It felt like things were getting comfortable. It felt like maybe it's time to coast. Our youngest was five, no diapers, we're planning adventures. Mm -hmm. We're running marathons, we're like waking up early. And then we had Rainier. Mm -hmm. We never would have like set out to plan that, but now that it's here, we can't imagine anything else. And that's been our whole life. And right now, we, we just had our sixth. We're like, this is great. I just started to get back into what normal life looks like for us now with a baby. We were like thinking about a marathon for next year or making plans for our summer and road trips. Yeah. Now we're like rethinking everything. But like Ben said, we have ne I have never regretted having one of my children. Even though right now is, is hard, it's gonna be hard. Um, 
I just know it's going to be better than if we if we didn't get pregnant with this with this baby. I also know how fragile life is. Um, just because I'm pregnant doesn't even mean that we're going to be holding this, this baby in nine months. We don't know. This is all stuff I've learned along the way. Um, I've just learned not to take these things for granted as much as I used to. The biggest thing that we've come to believe doesn't have to do with birth control or size of family. It has to do with what, we've, what we believe is ours to plan and what is not ours to plan. And what you see in our life right now was never in our plan. And we are so thankful for it. And having another child was not in our plan. But we will become more and more thankful for it. It'll, but it'll be hard and it'll be an adjustment from what we wanted or what we expected. So this is just something I, I hope that you guys are challenged to consider not just do you want a large family or small family, because those are just preferences, and preferences change. You know, when we lived in Seattle, we wanted a smaller family, because everyone around us had a smaller family. But we're trying to base our life not just on preferences that we feel right now, but on what is like the best thing for us. And for that, we have to acknowledge that there's certain things in our life that because we don't know the future, and because we believe that God is good and more powerful than us, that those decisions should be left up to Him. So we're not saying birth control is wrong or wanting things is wrong. But we're just telling you how we got here. <laughs>